You are probably wondering why I'm reviewing a game that is over 5 years old and never really been talked about. Now that I think about it, I don't even like golf or any sports game in general, excluding Wii Sports of course. However, Golf Story is not any other game. In fact, it's my most played game on the Switch beating titles like Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Hollow Knight, among many others. Well, the point is, how did a game that does not align with any of my interests become one of my most beloved games? Chapter 1 The Story You open your eyes and the game begins in Wellworn Grove, a lusciously green and vibrant environment that pops off the screen as you get a short tour of the course. You see very early on that the developers have a great sense of humor and incorporate that through colorful characters who you will meet throughout your journey. Your main goal is to participate in the Pro Tour as your dad instills your mission to learn and grow in the form of golf in the very beginning of the story. Then 20 years pass and you decide to visit Wellworn Grove in order to fulfill the legacy that you and your father made so long ago. Your character's experience only includes what you learned from your father, so rationally you look for a mentor. But there's a catch because the only man qualified to teach you literally hates you. I really don't want to give away more than this due to my undying respect of the game. So just know that there is in fact a story in Golf Story, and it's as comedic as it is beautiful. And I think the story alone is worth the $15. The only obstruction I have is that the fact that NPC dialogue rarely changes after big game events which leaves me wanting more and takes me out of the immersion a little. Chapter 2 The World There are a total of 8 courses not including frisbee parks, golf, houses, and so on. This is actually a very generous amount of courses and gives you a positive incentive to progress. Not to mention, each course feels different enough to where they can each hold their own. I won't lie though, some don't get quite as much love as others, and yet I still love them all. Inside each of these courses, there is a main story to accomplish, which always results in playing through the course with allies and enemies alike. It at times can feel a bit too structured, however it is still a very enjoyable way to lead world progression. Also inside the courses, there are many characters who are in a bind and need help. Do you help them like a normal person? Of course not, because you are a golfer who is doing everything in your power to become a pro. So you solve these problems with the power of golf! Which of course leads to some funny interactions and is always a joy to see where this story brings you. After you alleviate the problem, you get rewarded as any good Samaritan should with cold hard cash, which you spend in any of the 8 pro shops for different clubs or advancements, which will make helping others an honor duty, not a boring chore like some other games. <coughs> <coughs> Overall, the world reminds me of Mario Odyssey, a lot of diversity and special gameplay mechanics that make every world different enough to remain lively, while some worlds may be less large and advanced, each last one has a lot of personality. Chapter 3 Gameplay At first, I genuinely thought there was not too much strategy involved and I would master the gameplay mechanics in under an hour. I was wrong, but in the best way possible. As I mentioned before, the first 5 minutes of Golf Story introduce you to the world as well as teach you some core mechanics. As well as, through the game you learn new skills and you can apply them to the new courses that require a sharper touch to get effective scores to progress. Also, there is a skill tree type of progression, let's just call it a skill bar, that showcases your stats which include power, purity, strike, ability, and spin. Each are valuable in their own ways. I personally believe power to be the best in most situations, especially for courses like Blue Moon Dunes which has long stretches that require a strong swing. When you first start playing you may feel a bit overwhelmed, but you quickly adjust to the game's mechanics. I like to break it down in two categories that intertwine into one. There is luck, for example getting a perfect shot by a perfect green and purple strike zone which results in getting a rainbow shot, which is super satisfying to accomplish, 
And then there's the skill, which is identifying all the variables like wind, slope, and other pitfalls with the smallest miscalculation can ruin your score. With each new hit, you learn the course a little bit better and quickly learn which paths are good and which are traps. This makes playing super enjoyable and a great learning experience. And I don't even like golf. I do have one tiny distaste that sometimes you get caught on objects when exploring courses, especially on Lurker's Valley in particular, which is a bit infuriating at times. But in the grand scheme of things, it can be overlooked as a tiny annoyance, which won't really compromise your enjoyment of the game. Chapter 4, Art and Melodies. No, I did not mislabel my chapter. Golf Story really is that good. Both graphically and musically. Is uh, musically a word? I don't know, but we'll run with it. The two things I noticed first when I loaded in was the iconic Wellworn Grove score, which on another note, I will leave a link in the description to the official digital album for all the different scores if anyone wants to take a listen. All the music has an insane amount of personality and each course has its very own theme, which best suits its environment. The music begins to kick in during more intense shots, which puts a love Level of importance in your decisions. It feels meaningful and almost nerve-wracking to clear each hole. I really love details like this. It really puts you into the game and makes each course you play feel like a challenge that you are conquering by the skin of your teeth. My one and only complaint is that I wish the creator Joel Studler had written a little bit more. In terms of graphics, they are limited to the very limited power of the Nintendo Switch and yet it's breathtakingly beautiful and vibrant. That's because it's not the graphics, but instead the art style. It reminds me most of Stardew Valley, and in my eyes, it's on the same level in terms of art. You will not be disappointed and will quickly be immersed into this world. Chapter 5, etc, etc, etc. While this game does revolve around golf, there are still a lot of activities to stray away from in order to make your journey feel fresh, like investigating the death of a well-renowned golfer at Tidy Park, or playing frisbee golf which is surprisingly referenced throughout the game, and is pretty exciting to interact with the frisbee golfers as snobby as they may be, or stealing back the golf balls and cold wind waste for a rather fun Pac-Man minigame. If I were to talk about all the different missions, I would honestly need a separate video. So if you are on the fence because you don't care for golf, like me, you should not worry because there's a lot else you can do. And that is not saying the golf missions are not fun either, because they most definitely are. Chapter 6, Final Thoughts. Golf Story is well crafted and brings a rather boring and unappreciated sport the respect it deserves. Through its colorful game design, musical numbers, and characters, it is something of beauty, and I think everyone should have it in their gaming library. While I do wish the developers spent a little more time rounding out some of the dialogue to carry out from story events and a bit more of a coherent tutorial, and more thought out course layouts for character movement, I think this is all very forgivable, and does very little to change my overarching opinion. Golf Story is a must buy especially at the low price of $15. Chapter 7, Outro Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more content like this. Anyways, that will do it for me. Please remember to have a good day.